Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Sergei Yudin and Sergei Karyakin. This is the game from World Blitz Championship that was played in Dubai in 2014. Sergei Yudin had white pieces and he started with e4. Karyakin played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, Italian opening, bishop to c5, and Yudin played d3. c3 is the most popular and the most ambitious move, but we have a quiet one, d3, knight to f6, knight from b to d2, d6, c3, Karyakin castled kingside, and Yudin castled kingside too, a6, making the room for the bishop, intending bishop to a7, bishop to b3, bishop to a7, and Yudin played rook to e1, placing the rook on the file that will open, well, if given time. But black is not going to sit and watch quietly. Karyakin played knight to g4, attacking the pawn on f2. Perhaps in this position h3 would be a good alternative move. We have rook to e1, knight to g4 attacking the pawn on f2, defending king to h8, intending f5, h3, knight to h6, knight to f1, and Karyakin played f5. White to move. Should white capture the knight on h6, or play bishop to e3, and get rid of black, dark squared bishop. What would you do? Would you take the knight or would you play bishop to e3? You then played bishop to e3. Bishop takes knight is a better move. And the variation goes like this. Pawn takes bishop. Pawn takes pawn. Rook takes pawn. Bishop to d5. And this variation would be better for white. In the game we have bishop to e3, pawn takes pawn on e4, pawn takes pawn. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? What is the best move for black? If you wish you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for black. Ready? Karyakin played the bishop, takes pawn on h3, bishop takes on a7. If pawn takes bishop, then rook takes on f3. And the game may have continued like this. Bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, and after knight to g3, queen to h4, and black is winning. Okay, in the game we have bishop takes on a7, rook takes bishop, knight to e3, rook to a8, bishop to d5, black to move. What would you do? If you wish, you can pause the video again and you can try to find the best move for black. Ready? What did you find? Karyakin was in a fighting mode. Rook takes knight. Bishop takes on c6. Pawn takes bishop and now pawn takes rook. Black to move. 
how would you continue the attack on White King? Karyakin played queen to g5, check. King to h2. Queen to h5. To say that White King is unsafe is underestimation. King to g3. Black to move. Your move. How would you continue the attack on White King? Which black piece is not in use? This one here. So Rook to f8 is suggesting itself. Threatening Rook takes pawn on f3. Defending the pawn. Rook lift. Threatening Rook to g6. Knight to g4. It is black move. Black play the move and white resigned. What is the move? Karyakin captured the knight on g4 with knight. And Yudin resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes knight. Queen takes on g4 check. King to h2. And now both rook to h6 and bishop to f1 are winning. So we'll choose this one. Rook to h6. Rook to e3. Bishop to f1, discover check. Rook to h3, rook takes rook. Check, mate. Although it was a blitz game, Karyakin played very accurately. Do you agree? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.